Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, earlier, the US ambassador to Kenya had wrote to US President Joe Biden describing who William Ruto is. And in her own words, he described William Ruto as a nice guy, a man who is hands-on, trustworthy, and working for the middle class and the poor. Of course, what the Democrat stands for in US. That was the description of William Ruto according to the US ambassador. But, but the developing report from the United Nations boss should worry one William Samuel Ruto and his government. And according to the UN Deputy SG, in her own words, this is how she's describing William Ruto. Ruthless and untrustworthy. These are the words from the United Nations Deputy Secretary General, Amina Jen Mohammed. <laughs> he she used this word to describe President William Samuel Ruto to her boss, Antonio Guterres, that is Secretary General of the United Nations. Now, you know, United Nations has four offices in the world, and Kenya is among the countries housing those offices. Because we have the, 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 the first offices in the, uh, New York, that's U.S., then we have another office in uh, Geneva, Switzerland. Another one is in Kenya here, Nairobi. And we have another one in uh, Vienna, that is Austria. Only in the world. So it means Kenya is a strategic uh, country to the United Nations. They would have much interest in Kenya when it comes to planning of the activity in the world. So if you have such a president who is not trustworthy, but then a country in which he's leading is housing such key office, what does that one tells you? There is a lot for William Ruto to worry about. If he thought everything is good for him, then he must prepare for a checkmate, and if possible, even things can just get worse for him. There are so many ways in which Ruto has proved to be untrustworthy and indeed he has shown that he is ruthless. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel subscribers. Thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, one of the key uh, duties of the United Nations is to maintain peace and security globally. International peace and security. You look at that. And then check on how Ruto has been uh, conducting himself and his activities in this country. Does it be depict someone who can be held to that level? The other is no. Look on how this government went further to use goons to invade a land belonging to Uhuru Kenyatta. A man who is still so much powerful, a man who just left government the other day, a man who still has insiders in the government. But Ruto allowed invaders to go to his land. How do you maintain peace in that level? Because this is a man who can just use his insiders to wage a war against you. And if you're not careful, you can be overturned. That tells you that Ruto is a problem when it comes to the matters of peace and security. In six months' time, he has proved that he cannot be trusted with the matters to do with the security. Instead, what he has proved to do is to wage war. So these are some of the reasons why the UN boss is feeling that Ruto is not trustworthy on matters of security. That means even he can go to an extent of colliding with the enemy for personal gain. And uh, to do with the, you know, he get his own 
uh, what we can refer to as collaboration with the enemy and leaking out some of the classified information. You can see Kenya has been used to sort out some of the problem within here. You go to Ethiopia, you go to Sudan, and elsewhere. So we play a key role as a country. Our army officers have been dispatched outside in Amazon. They are doing their work there. But then you have a president who is more focused on revenging. When you become, you become so much revengeful, it means you are ruthless. If Uhuru did not agree with you, he did not support you, why would you revenge on him? He did not believe in you. Look on how Raila Odinga property in Spectra, East Africa, was attacked by guns. As we are talking, as we are talking now, now it has become a trend that those squatters and even some people who pretend to be squatters are invading other people's properties. I'm telling you, even these white people, they have huge tracts of land in this country. And they are seeing what is happening to Hulu, soon it will be happening to them. That is also one of the reasons that will make them not to be comfortable with someone like William Samway Ruto. So, he cannot be trusted in this level. I mean, another function of the United Nations is to uh, investigate, dispute or a situation that might lead to international friction. So, when they are conducting such an investigation and you have someone like William Samuel Root, they say they don't trust him. Check on how he campaigned and how he comes out to to deal with the issue of being held responsible to what he promised even during the campaign. He lied to people. So it means even whenever he will get and the way he has conducted himself and the people around him, people whom he is consulting, <laughs> there are people of questionable character. There are people that the United Nations has been questioning. They don't trust them. Those have become the advisors to William Samway Root. People that we will not mention here. So it means Ruto cannot be trusted because now he's collaborating with some individuals whose UN has already flagged. Number three, UN also uh, deals with the issue of recommending method of dispute or terms of settlement. Now they have identified the problem, they are dealing with the problem and they are recommending on how to sort out the problem. Can people negotiate? If not negotiating, then can we just decide to declare war or whichever method they want to use to sort out the problem? They does it. So tell me how you trust someone like William Samuel Ruto in that manner. Because of all this, William Ruto is going to have a checkmate. Because now this one contradicts what the US ambassador had uh, wrote about Ruto to the US president. Because now, Joe Biden is here and he has to ask himself, will he listen to his ambassador or the UN boss? Now it's a two-way traffic. He has to make a decision. And of course, UN is more powerful than US ambassador. So he might end up going with the UN report. Because now, that one goes deeper into investigating they have been checking on William Ruto's character from the time he took over power and how he behaves. So this alone explains even the reason why Kenyans do not trust William Ruto. Just imagine someone saying that they trust Ruto when Kenyans themselves they don't trust. Why are Kenyans on the street? It's one of the reasons. They don't trust Ruto and how he has been dealing with the issue of um, making basic commodities available to Kenyans. The So all this has contradicted the earlier report. And from here, Ruto is going to be watched carefully and closely. And of course, we will need a strong checkmate. That checkmate, it will be none other than Raila Amolo Odinga. He should prepare. Even mass action can just lead to his 
removal from office. It can happen. These are the people who put William Ruto in the office. So if the person put you in the office is still there, what's stopping him from removing you from that office? A story that we need more time to discuss about. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation.